All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jeff Guy here. In today's video, we have week four against the Indianapolis Colts. We are the 2-1 Tennessee Titans going against the 0-3 Colts. We have some good news, some bad news, some medium news. Let's get right into it. Right, the first thing we need to note is that Peter Skaronsky is out for this game. He sprained his wrist or dislocated it during training. He is out for a singular week. We also lost Hugh Winter, who's our backup right tackle. So we're going to have to make some adjustments on the deep offensive line uh, before we play this game. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is start Alex Leatherwood at right tackle, which actually means, believe it or not, that Brian Alfaro, who is our uh, left tackle that we drafted, he's been playing at right tackle because Skaronsky plays left. Uh, he's going to slide over to play left tackle for us as Alex Leatherwood, the f disgraced first round pick of the Las Vegas Raiders. Uh, slides in at right tackle. So we're going to play our 73 overall rookie at left tackle today. He's going to get some experience. We're going to keep Mooty, Whitehair, and Zeitler all together. And then uh, Alex Leatherwood's going to move over to right tackle. So that's like the bad news. Uh, the good news is that the Colts are currently 0-3. Um, so it looks like they should be a team that we can beat. However, when you take a look at this roster, there is nothing to like playing against. Anthony Richardson, 82 overall, 22 overall X-Factor, 96 throw power, 91 speed. Uh, not great abilities, but you know you don't need them if you're basically Cam Newton prime, uh, prime time. So Anthony Richardson, an absolute issue, as is Jonathan Taylor. Uh, he dislocated or did something to his thumb, so he's going to be out in real life. Killer to one of my fantasy teams that's facing relegation. Don't ask. Comment in the, in the chat if you want to hear about that team. Uh, Jonathan Taylor, 5'10", 25 years old, X-Factor, 95 speed, 90 change of direction. Insane, or pretty good abilities for this league. He's a monster. Going to be very tough to stop this rushing attack. And, of course, got to be mindful of that 96 throw power. Uh, and then receivers, nothing to really write home about. Our 95 speed corners shouldn't really have a problem keeping up with these guys. Alec Pierce is the fastest, and Michael Pittman's the highest overall. I don't anticipate a ton of issues locking down the receivers. The problem is Anthony Richardson. Can we actually stop him? Uh, again, tight end, nothing really to write home about. Forrest Buckner, obvious monster. He is an X factor. Uh, he's 30 years old, so he's on the, the back end of his career, but 90 strength, uh, good abilities. He does have inside stuff, so we got to watch that when we're running uh, with J.K. Dobbins. He's also got Shaquille Leonard, Darius Leonard, if you remember his former name. He's got run stopper and reach elite. Another really good player right there. And then he's got James Parrish, who was his first round pick. Uh, 84 speed rookie linebacker. Probably has star development. Not a terrible player. Um, so someone we should be watching out for. And then the corners aren't really anything special. Amir Speed has 95 speed. I'm not sure he's going to get on the field. Um, but our receivers should be able to get open. We should be able to scheme some stuff. We should be able to scheme some stuff open against this defensive secondary. And taking a look at weekly awards, we did win uh, Player of the Week last week with Kelvin Joseph. He did have a pick six against the Jets, which is great. And we also won Player of the Week in Week 1 with Will Levis, 330 passing yards, four touchdowns, and four sacks. Uh, so we're hoping to keep this trend going. Let's get into the game. Here we are, kickoff. Week number four. This is this guy's, apparently his first game of Madden this year. Um... And his first game in this franchise. So the Colts being 0-3 is not his fault uh, as the CPU was winning or playing those games. If we don't win, that's kind of an issue given the fact that you know he hasn't played yet this year. But we'll see. Uh, he comes out pretty tight in the box. Um, we're, always goes, we're pretty much going to run it the first play every time just simply because we got to get that 70-30. Um, so let's see how he reacts. Looks like he is usering Shaq Leonard. Oh, hey Dobbins. Okay, Dobbins. Comes in for the run. Do we get the stop? Fourth and one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for this. Um, just want to make sure with the rules of the league. We are past the 50 yard line. It's fourth and one. I think it's realistic to go for this. Entire game. You can go for it within five yards. Yeah, very much within the rules of the game to go for this. Um, and it looks like Rogers is going to be our read here. I'm just going to put him on a straight out route. Try to get him out in space. And we got him. And it's incomplete. Dang it. Oh, God, that's brutal. OK, he does get the stop on fourth down. So we are going to have to we're we're behind the eight ball a little bit here as we fully expect him to come out running this ball. Um, just given his offense. Get him. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that's complete. Oh, that's brutal. It should have been 
a sack, a pick, in that order. Mine. Yes, let's go. Kevin Byer, pick six. Let's go. Oh, Anthony Richardson's here. Never mind. Ain't no way I'm taking this back. Come on, get sticky with it. Get sticky with it. Get sticky. That was not sticky. Okay, that's six. That's six. Oh, we got blocked. Oh, no. Come on, run, run, run back, run back, run back. And that's two for him. So I got six. Oh, Shigo Conko, get there. Get there, get there, get there. Okay, but if he's going to run man, Deontay Johnson should be able to break free here. Um, but let's see. If Burks runs kind of like a clear out. That should get something open. Nope, it's not. It's not zone. It was zone that time. We got Shigo Conquo open on a slant. Good read. Good read. That was very lucky. Very lucky. Something worth noting. Deontay, you're in a contract year. Bring that in. Bring that in. Or you're not getting paid. It is what it is. We're going for it again. We're going for it again. I'm not I'm not taking three. I'm not doing it. It's shorter than fourth and five. We're in the goal line. We're in the ends uh, in the red zone. I can't even talk right now. Okay. Deontay is read number one. Dobbins read number two. Rogers read number three. Burks read number four. Nobody's open. Deontay gets there. All right. We scored. We scored. All right. All we're trying to do, is, well, especially the way for us to win this game, is going to be forcing him to pass the ball because uh, we can't stop the run. We can't. So force him into situations where he has to pass the ball, which is we're going to do that by stopping him on first down, continuing to... Oh, see, there's the read option. Good stop there. It's going to be creating a lot of first down stops. Scoring a lot of points when we're on offense uh, and not making mistakes. Force him into passing situations, use our safe or DBs, pick him off, and go from there. That was going to be a pick with anyone. I'm glad it was. Her I wish it was Barrett, but I'm glad it was Herring was there because we need both of them to develop. Wasn't a great read by him, to be honest. Not not overly happy with that for him. Uh, let's let's look to capitalize here. Deontay Johnson of the seam could be interesting, depending on how the safety reads it. No, we're gonna go to Glenn Rogers here. Open, cut, one juke. Oh, if we got two jukes, we were in. If we got two jukes, we were in. We're going for it again. There's no way we're not. No way we're not. Fourth and five. We're we're doing it. We have the same read as the position we were just in. We stink. I wonder if he runs it here. He doesn't. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Hunt. Hunt, baby. All right, we're again going to try. I think he's covering this Dobbins route pretty well. Oh, he's not. He's not. That's wide open. Beautiful. Go, 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 JK. Let's go. J.K. Dobbins, our leading receiver as a running back. Harold Landry getting home. He's getting paid two or $20 million a year. He'd better get home. If he doesn't, we have a problem. Jeffrey Simmons is hurt. That is an absolute disaster for our team. He, can't, he is the entire defense. If he's hurt, we're kind of screwed. All right, Jeffrey Simmons, only an upper arm bruise. He's totally fine. Is he not going to call timeout? What are you doing? Go for points. What? What? How did he not call a timeout there? What are we doing? Say he gets in there, right? Gets the two point conversion, gets one, whatever. It's either 20 to 9 or 20 to 10. 
even 20 to 5, right? He has the opportunity to double up on points, which means, you know, the score is going to be I'm so bad at math, either 13 to 20, 14 to 20, or potentially all the way up to like 18 to 20. I don't know why he doesn't. Oh, Kevin Byard, you dirty girl, you dirty girl. You're going to get a contract. You're going to get a big old contract in the offseason. This is an automatic touchdown. I, I don't even have to look at the screen like. Bang. Wide open. Wide open. He's challenging Christian Fulton, or not Christian Fulton, uh, Kelvin Joseph. Pittman comes down with it. Fulton, oh my god, I called him Fulton twice. Joseph is, you know, you write that down. Write that down. And touchdown. You know who makes a play there? Is Sidney Anderson. You know who doesn't make the play there? Stephen Barrett. Good throw by him. All right, with him scoring there, that does allow us to throw the ball a little bit. Um, we're still in a situation where we are up, what? Bad at math. Like, what? Is that 19 points? 18 points? So it's a two-possession game. Like, it's far from over. But we can open up, open the offense back up a little bit, as we might not need to with J.K. Dobbins running like this. Oh, he's free! He's free! Is he going to get his first rushing touchdown? Or is he going to get caught by a linebacker? Yikes. But J.K. Dobbins goes over 100 rushing yards for the first time in, in this franchise. Um, yay. All right, let's see if Glenn Rogers can get open here. Step up in the pocket. Roll to the corner. Fire. Ooh, dang. Good. Better players. That's a completion. Uh, but we don't get it there. Just got to know our personnel. That's on me. That's on me. Horrendous throw by Will Levis. Again, led on by my pass lead offense. Like, I'm trying to put it into a spot where Will Levis just can't do that. So, um, that's on me. We throw another interception. I believe that's uh, five on the year. We do have three touchdowns. We're going to get lucky there. That should have been a completion. He can go for this. He's more than welcome to go for this. Former Saints punter, Thomas Morstead in. Tyre Tart might be on the cut block after that play. That's that's the game right there. You know, we get a stop there. We roll it out. I have to imagine he goes to an RPO here. Oh, maybe not. I'm still going to sit on the receiver side. Left. Um, so I left my zone to cover the flat Jonathan Taylor. And I may be the luckiest person on earth that that wasn't a touchdown. I feel bad for this guy. He he did everything right. He should have scored a touchdown there. That blows. That blows. We got to score this. We got to get this first down. We haven't done anything offensively this half. And we got the underneath. Nope, we're going to run. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, Levis, he's not the most mobile guy. He only has 80 speed, but that's, you know... For the offense we're running right now, that's more than enough. As long as we surround him with playmakers in the next couple years, he's going to be just fine. Yeah, only 149 yards passing right now. That's not going to cut it. We need to, we need, we were under 300 last game. We had 220. If we go under 220, that's going to be, re or we, we need to, ugh. we only have like 149 passing yards this game. We need to hit about 300 a game to hit our total or goal of like roughly 5,000 passing yards on the year. Um, so it's not going too, too well for that. Um, but, you know, if we can get another 40 yards here, get back to like 250, we can just sell the rest of the games as, you know, we can, we can, or we can at least try to. 
Yeah, 168. We need we need more passing yards. That's like the end all be all right now. All right, let's take a look at the stats. Obviously not our best game, but we did hold him to a pretty poor like our defense played really well, so our offense didn't have to. 216 yards, three touchdowns, one interception for Will Levis. Not a disaster game, just not what we're looking for from our MVP. J.K. Dobbins does light it up. 12 carries for 115 yards. We did hold Anthony Richardson to four total yards on the ground, which is great. Two for 22 there uh, on Will Levis. He made two good carries. Higby had that one big, big catch, which was really annoying. Downs did well. And none of our receivers really got going. Uh, four catches for Burks, three for Rodgers, three for Johnson with a touchdown. And he had most of his yards on that, that last little play there. Um, Chig, three. So we're spreading the ball around really, really well. Um, just not a dominant game from anyone. Harold Landry definitely showed up. Four tackles for loss, one and a half sacks. And we did have the two picks from Kevin Byard and one for Eric Herring. So we will take that. That's going to do it for today's episode. I will see you guys in week five.